Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, a few months ago I was lucky enough to create this cool kind of ropey texture um, that has animated glows and stuff and you know it ended up looking really really cool and it's a surprisingly easy thing to make. So let's jump in and I will quickly show you how I made it. So I've got a pretty basic scene set up here. I've got a sphere, I've got a dome light and I've got a camera. The camera is set up to have a focal length of 200 millimeters and there's just a quick HDRI just added onto a dome light. And that's all we've got. So let's open up our Redshift render view. Press play. And as you can see, nothing much going on. Let's create a new material, a standard one, and chuck that onto the sphere. Great. What I will do now is just add the render tag uh, redshift object uh, override the geometry and enable tessellation and let's just drop the segments down to 15 great okie dokies so now we double click on our material to open up our node editor so basically we want to stack two materials onto this thing um, and it's really easy to do what we'll do is we'll make a duplicate of this material. We'll click on our first material, change the color to something like red. Then we will change this to black. Easy peasy. We will then create a material blender. We will drop that in here. We will connect this to our color, this to our material color, and then connect this to our surface. So nothing's happened. And that's because we need a mask. So let's add a Maxon noise to be our mask. Let's hook up our Maxon noise to our output, just so we can see what we're doing more clearly. We can then jump into here and make this something like a semi. Boost our overall scale. Play with our high clip and our low clip if we want to invert these colors. And now what we can do is reconnect our material blender back to the surface and then plug in our Maxon noise to the blend color and voila here you have the Maxon noise driving two colors two materials so easy peasy now the next thing is how do we get this thing to glow it's really easy to make this move as well by the way so you just come into your animation your speed just put it to like 0 0.3 hit play Move this out of the way, hit play, and now you can see it moved on, and that's that's it. That's kind of how I made this this weird glowy moving texture. This is the this is the base. Like it, it doesn't get any more complicated. The rest is all um, experimentation and seeing what looks good for your scene. You know, so let's figure out how we can make this glow, or how we we add like a gradient on top of this red. So if we come into our standard and we right click add input, tricky to select, add input and then add a emission color, which will pop up here. Now what we can do is we can add a ramp, hook that ramp into the emission color. We have cool presets. We can you can choose your own, or you can just grab one of these to experiment with. Let's just reduce our palette a little bit. Something like that. Now we want to view what this looks like without all of the messing. So let's add our normal map back into the output. And let's connect this ramp to our color. Right, so now we see what the ramp is actually doing, and you can kind of dial this in now. 
you can go to our mappings, see if that does anything interesting. Let's dial this in. Okay, something like that. We can invert this. It doesn't really matter. It's all personal preference, really. Whatever. Let's take this standard material. And let's get our material blender. Plug that back into our output. And now we're kind of seeing the gradient underneath working as well. Now we got to go down to our emission. And we got to put this weight up to something like 10. You'll see it lightens up the gradient quite a lot. But now what we can do with our emission set 10 is when we come into our camera, we come into lens effects, we can override our bloom and we can drop our threshold down a little bit. And now you're starting to see that gradient come out in the bloom. So when stuff is glowing, it has like a really hot whitish inner, but then the bloom itself will have color. And that's how you kind of make this glow effect work. And then it's all tweaking. So when you come in here again and you start changing up some stuff, you're going to notice that your bloom is going to react differently. The lighter in hue these shades are. So the bloom basically works on taking the, the whitest, the whitest part of the image and blooming. So now we can dial this back in. And the cool thing is, this is all procedural. Look, so this animates. We can come back in here and we can change up our noises so we can have, you know, this could be kind of cool. Luca. And we can quickly just change our low and high clips to invert that. Cool. And now you're seeing how flexible this thing can be. Let's animate that. And you can wrap this around any object or any, you know, if you've got UVs or whatever, just pop it on top of something as a procedural texture. Let's have a look at one more. That's pretty cool. Like lava. And that's essentially it. That's, that's how I did it. So I hope you learned something from this. Go and add some crazy colors. Do some weird stuff. Let me know how you get on. I'd love to see what you make with this technique. And if you like this video, um, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.